welcome to another video. I'm Kiana, also known as Cryptic Inc. And today I kind of wanted to do a vlog video and a mini studio tour. I'm going to introduce you to my pets as well because they're always with me and they are a huge part of my life. Um, so yesterday my boyfriend and I had to clean the art room because it was an absolute mess. Um, there was just stuff everywhere and after Inktober I just gave up on cleaning my art room for the most part so it wasn't like gross but it was just really cluttered so he helped me with that um, even though he was kind of a distraction but we kind of got you know the whole art room cleaned up and finally tid tidied up. I also rearranged some stuff so that I could um, reach it better and everything like that so that's really nice. So I'm gonna do an art tour real quick and show you guys where I work. Um, it's more of a room than a studio, but I guess that um, it just makes it sound really professional. But this is essentially where I do all my artwork. All right, so the most important part and my favorite part of this art room is the table here. Um, it's just a drafting table that we got from Michaels. My boyfriend actually got it for me last year for Christmas. It's super useful, especially when I angle it like this so that I'm not um, craning my head over the table. And right here is just my Surface Pro. Um, the screen's super messy, but I do quite a bit of digital drawing on this. Um, it's not too bad. It's a little small for my liking when I draw on it, but hopefully it doesn't fall off. Here we have, hi! Here we have this little pen and it's it's pretty nice for drawing. I I think things could be better, but for now, since I don't have money to just drop on a Cintiq or anything like that, it's really great for when I want to draw directly on the monitor. And these little drawers here, we kind of have like <laughs> my junk drawer. There's some, um, hopefully it doesn't fall out. There's like, you know, sponges and stuff for when I'm painting and need to wipe up paint. This is where I keep all of my watercolors. This is my Koi watercolor set. Um, <laughs> I'm not that great with keeping my watercolors super clean, but since it wasn't super expensive, I'm not totally worried about it. These are the Prima watercolor set that I got, and I really like these. What else? Um, just a smaller Koi watercolor set, and then some Prismacolors and stuff like that. And then masking tape for when I want to mask off parts of my painting. And then in this drawer, which is just as messy, hold on. So in this drawer, which was just as messy, I've got my pencil case, I've got a whole bunch of washi tape, my planner, which I'm going to need to update soon, and then a journal, you know, for when I want to write stuff. I think my mom got me both of these, but uh, yeah, just stickers and planners and things like that. Then I've just got a, a clip-on lamp for some extra lighting, you know, pencil holder, super exciting stuff. <laughs> Um, over here, this is like a really essential part of my setup because it holds my camera over the desk um, so I don't have to do too much finagling with the tripod. Before um, Michael made this for me, I was like using some kind of crazy setup with duct tape and you know, another um, desk and stuff like that just to get my camera to um, film overhead but this is like kind of a I guess a handmade camera arm uh, he basically took a dowel rod super glued this um, screw into it and then made like a block with another screw hole that connects to the tripod so I can like take this on and off um, you know, whenever I need it, but I can unscrew that if I don't want to use it anymore. Uh, like I said, this thing is super handy, and if anyone wants to learn how to make one and doesn't want to drop, you know, big money on a fancy camera arm, let me know, and maybe I'll um, ask Michael to show you guys how to do it. But there's that, and I really like it, so thank you, Michael. So yeah, that's essentially where I work. It's um, a really big part of the room. It's a very small room, so there's not a lot to it, but this is by far my favorite part of the room. If you've got some extra brushes, you know, a painting that I was working on that I never finished. Also a badass bean bag that we decided to put in here. On top of it is just my charger so I can charge my 
extra camera batteries because the battery doesn't last super long. And my awesome Gurren Lagann poster, which I love. I love that anime. So on the other side of the room, we have a ton of artwork and posters that I got. Okay, not a ton, but a handful of artwork and posters that I got from um, a couple conventions and fan fests and stuff like that. Let's start with the shelf. Um, <laughs> Just my alpaca um, that I got from FanFest, a cute little Pusheen doll that my mom got me um, for my birthday, <laughs> or I think it was just a random gift, but I really thought it was super cute and it goes perfectly with my little alpaca. Um, inside this little, this is technically a vase that had bamboo in it, but we relocated the bamboo once it got bigger and I just put brushes in it and then this cute little flower. We got a Scentsy Warmer, shaped like a moped, and then this right here is just extra wax from old candles that wouldn't burn anymore, and we just recycle those and put those in the warmer. This is another very important part of the room, which is my to-do list. I'm pretty scatterbrained in general, so I have to write almost everything down in list form if I want to get it done, so... That's where I put that, and it's a little cluttered, but I kind of like it. So in this top shelf is where I put all of my important electronics. You've got my um, microphone, my old camera, which still works, and I use that when I want to record extra angles at the same time. This camera, which I'm, <laughs> I'm actually not sure if it does work, but I keep it just in case. This is just an old bamboo sketch tablet. It works perfectly fine and I think it's pretty great as a beginner tablet. I use this when I want to draw on the big screen on the computer right there, but um, I, I like it. And these next two shelves, I just have some sketchbooks that I am currently filling up and this cute little music thing that my sister sent me and I really like it so much because it's super cute, right? But when you turn it on, it plays that creepy like musical note music. <laughs> I don't know if she intended for it to be like that, but I think it's really funny and it reminds me of her, so I keep it on my shelf so I can see it every day. And right here is my collection, my very small collection of Copic markers. I used to have like a hundred or so Copic markers, like the small ones of this size, but I used most of them up, so you know, I don't have as much as I used to, but these are the colors I have left. Um, I really like Copic markers, but, um, you know, they're super expensive, so I don't really buy them all too often. Like, if I go to Michael's, I'll buy one or two just to add more colors, but this is essentially what I use if I feel like drawing in markers. And these are my inks. I actually found a couple more of these. When I was cleaning the, the room, um, I got two new ones from Inkscober, the Black Star um, Waterproof India ink, and then, you know, this gold, and I have this one. Um, I have a lot more ink than I thought I did, and that just goes to show why I need to clean my art room more, because I just find supplies that I didn't know I had. Right here is an old box that I made in... Gosh, I think I made it my senior year in high school. I had an AP art studio class and we had to uh, paint furniture essentially, like do a really big project. And all I had was this old box from elementary school. So I ripped everything off of it and repainted it. I found this old um, picture frame that I, you know, super glued on top of it. Super glue, like it's for everything. So, <laughs> but in this box, Ooh. I just have my oil painting supplies that I'm going to start using soon. They're, uh, most of them are barely used, like linseed oil and stuff like that. But <laughs> these are super old paintings, you guys. This is, you know, I painted birds because I was really into birds at the time. I think I still am, but <laughs> I just, I think it's really pretty, so I never really got rid of it. It's kind of nostalgic. And, you know, there's my e-reader and a couple of my favorite books relating to art. I think Big Magic is what I'm reading right now, and it's a really inspiring book. I just kind of sit on the porch and read it when I have the time. And another one of my favorite books relating to art is 
art and fear. I, I mean, this thing is beat up. I, I'm pretty sure I've read it like 20 or so times, but I read that whenever I need to kick myself back into motion. And then we have some more journals. I am crazy about journals, but the thing is I never finish them. Um, I love the journal section that they have at Barnes & Noble because you can get such cool different things, um, different kinds of journals, and I think I just like collecting them, to be honest. And then down on the bottom are all of my old sketchbooks, and I don't know why I keep them around. I feel like sketchbooks are the kind of thing that you, you know, some people just never really get rid of. I know that some people are okay with just throwing them away, but... Me, not so much. I kind of like to keep them to kind of remember where my head was at with art back in the day. But I actually have an old video of me going through, I think, all of my old sketchbooks. If I don't, then I'll make one. But if I do, then I'll, I'll link that in the description below. But that's my little sketchbook section. <laughs> so this is another thing that Michael made for the art room. He really likes to work with like woodworking and stuff like that and I had a bunch of stuff that I just didn't know where to put. But this is um, like a makeshift table that he made for me out of an old table and then this little, I don't know, sawhorse <laughs> thing. But let's start on the left. This is where my pets, my reptiles stay. Um, Bullet is actually hiding in her log. I don't think you can see her very well, but there she is. She's she's hiding in there. Um, they sleep during the day, so they don't really do much. Down here is my ball python. He is, you know, his name is Scraps, and he I think he's shedding, so he looks a little gray lately, but he should be fine in a couple days after he gets all that off of him. This is an old Cthulhu painting that I did a while ago. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just kept it. <laughs> These are all my plants. This is a succulent and then another one up there. We've got a pothos who is doing amazingly, um, even though he's got a couple brown leaves, but it's, it's flourished since we've got it. And then our bird of paradise, which has shot up in size. This thing is getting massive. I remember when we first got it, it was like that tall and now it's, you know, crazy tall. I think this is a jar of wax. I don't know why I have this. <laughs> this is um, just another holder for yet more paint brushes. Down here, I keep all of my, um, well, I keep these little tiny canvases that I've never used. These are, this is where I keep all of my little watercolor tubes. This also had plants in it, and now I use it for storage. And then this is a brush cleaner, and then a jar for like water and stuff. This is another super important part of the room, which is my printer. I dust this regularly, usually, <laughs> but this is the Canon PIXMA MG7720. <laughs> but it does really nice prints. We actually relocated these tiny, like, stackable shelves. They used to be under the desk, but we put them here so that I could reach my paper better. On top, there's, you know, this super handy paper cutter. Then we've got my print papers and then my sticker making papers, as well as some stuff that either has been scanned or needs to be scanned. And yeah, I think it's super handy to have this up here because it, it's, it's so much more easy to reach. And there's my ukulele and my, uh, what's this thing? Easel. <laughs> there's my, my easel for, you know, when I, decide to paint. And then down here are my yoga mats because yoga is an essential part of my day. Um, yeah, my mom got me one and I got the other one. My mom gives me like a lot of nice little things and <laughs> mom, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you are, I really appreciate all the things that you've gotten me because I do use them. <laughs> and then over here I have my T-shaped rulers and then a cutting board and some extra paper. And then we've got my computer. I spend quite a bit of time at this computer. <laughs> um, it's got, you know, all the programs I need like Photoshop and, well, the Photoshop suite and then um, Maya and ZBrush and stuff like that. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it for my art room tour. I guess I'll introduce you to my pets and then I guess we'll wrap this up. So this is Bullet. 
She's my little leopard gecko. I've had her for a couple years now. She's a little shy, but I handle her occasionally just to get her out of the tank every once in a while. She's a super picky eater. Most of the time when I feed her, I have to kind of hand feed her. Um, I pretty much just take the tongs and the super worms and dangle them in front of her so that she'll actually eat. She typically doesn't really eat any other way and it's been like that for a couple of years but I'm happy to do it. It doesn't take a lot of time. Ooh, hi! Yeah, she's super rambunctious. <laughs> but yeah, this is Bullet. My super cute leopard gecko. So this is Scraps. He's my ball python. He is about two and a half years old. We've had him for about a year or so and he's grown a lot since then. He's he's a very good eater. Um, he, I mean, we've never really had an issue with feeding him. I know that ball pythons sometimes go on like hunger strikes for any reason. So we've never had that problem with Scraps. Uh, he's really well behaved, um, never been bitten by him. Mostly he just hangs out in his tank and sleeps all day and at nighttime I'll let him um, come out and you know roam around the desk and stuff like that. Um, he's probably one of my more interesting pets, although I do love all of my pets, but Scraps is one of my, well he's my baby. <laughs> I can't say he's my favorite because I feel like my pets would be upset with me if I did, but he's, he's up there and he's a real sweetheart. So this is Tegan. Um, she's my, uh, I guess a tuxedo cat, but she's impossible to film, um, <laughs> which kind of makes her impossible to pet sometimes because she just never stays still. But she's also a real sweetheart. Um, she's adopted and I've had her for almost two years now. Um, I got her as soon as I moved out and she's, you know, she's really sweet and a great companion. And this is Worf, our dog. You've probably seen her before. She is the biggest goofball in the house besides my boyfriend, but she's such a cuddle bug and she gets along with everyone. Um, she's always by my side. Um, yeah, she's, she's a real sweetheart. I think she's about four years old. She is also a rescue and we've had her almost as long as we've had Tegan. She's technically Michael's dog, but I still consider her my baby. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Just, you know, a little introduction to my pets and a little tour of my art room. It's not a super big studio space, but I hope you enjoyed it and kind of got a feel of where I work. Thank you so much for watching. I will probably upload another video soon because I have a lot to talk about as far as um, a new book I'm making, um, my prints, orders, and oh, I'm going to CTN this weekend, so I'm really excited about that. Let me know what you think about these vlog videos. I might be speaking really fast <laughs> because being in front of the camera makes me a little bit nervous and I don't normally do videos like this, but I wanna try and I wanna get better at it. So let me know what you think and maybe what you think I could work on. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, happy drawing, bye.